Hello everybody. So today I wanted to show you an Excel uh, video and what I want to do in this video is just to kind of show you uh, what volatility looks like in a more meaningful way. So we're going to go to Yahoo Finance and we're going to look up the S&P 500 tradable ETF SPY and from here we're going to click on this historical data tab. Now I'm getting um, data from January 2nd, 2022 to March 6, 2022. And we're going to click apply and then we're going to download this uh, file. So from here we get this Excel data dump. Now I'm going to uh, create a pivot table from this. We're just going to click insert pivot table. We're going to do it in a uh, new sheet. Now here we're going to get the low, we're going to get the high, and then we're going to get the date. So with this date, I'm going to right click, I'm going to ungroup so that we could get these individual um, days right here. And with this data right here, I am going to uh, make this to the hundredth place for the decimals. So just clean this up a little bit. We're going to call this um, data or date. We're going to call this low. And we're going to call this high. Now note that I'm um, making a space when I do this. So let me show you what happens if I don't do that. I get pivot table field name already exists. So to avoid this, we're going to do a space right here. And then that fixes that problem. I want to get rid of the grand totals. So we're going to go to design, grand totals, off rows and columns. From here, I'm going to do pivot table analyze. We are going to look at calculated fields. And what I want to do is I want to calculate the difference between the high and the low so we know how much we're fluctuating from the top to the bottom. So I'm going to call this uh, volatility. And for the formula, it's going to be the high minus the low. Then we're going to click OK. Then we're just going to clean this name up a little bit. Now what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to make a line chart. So just a very simple line chart so you can visualize this a little better. So we're going to go to pivot table analyze, pivot table chart. We're going to do line. We're going to do a line with markers right here. So this data right now doesn't tell me anything. So I need to get rid of a few fields. We're going to get rid of low. We're going to get rid of high. And now we just have volatility. We're going to blow this chart up a little bit. So now we can see what volatility actually looks like. So here on the third, from the high to the low, we saw a four point move. On the fifth, or on the fourth right here, we saw a 4.4 move. Now let's go all the way over here. On the 24th, we saw a 19.62 move. Now uh, that's pretty insane. That's like, uh, 5%-ish, a little bit lower than 5%, so 4 to 5% move on the S&P 500 SPY ETF. Now you can see that volatility kind of subsided when we went into this uh, new month of February. And then you can see it all of a sudden sp spiked again. And right here we see that on the 24th of February we saw an 18.12 move. So People might ask, well, what's the VIX? And you might say, well, it tracks volatility. And they'll say, well, how volatile are things right now? And you say, well, VIX is over 30. So somebody who doesn't really understand the VIX might not really understand what 30 volatility is. And oftentimes people kind of, they don't understand this right away. It takes them a little bit of time to actually uh, click in just what the VIX is telling them. So. If we're looking at volatility, volatility in this way, it's very, very clear what volatility looks like. So on a day that's highly volatile, we're going to move almost 20 points from the top to the bottom or almost 18.12 from the top to the bottom. On a day that's not that volatile, we're going to see a small move like 2.87 from the top to the bottom. So this is a great visualization of what volatility in the S&P 500 
looks like over these uh, last two months. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it's helpful.